Hello and welcome back. Um, this time I'm making a video on Sandboxy, uh, a, a software program for Windows which I've been using for a number of years and I really recommend this program, especially the paid version. You, you, you basically just uh, get one license and then you can put it on all the uh, computers you own uh, for life. It's only about 30 odd pounds, 20, 29 euros I think one-off one-time payment and uh, for home use lifetime license really really recommend this program because <clears throat> when you're surfing on the internet you don't know what you're gonna pick up and uh, this allows you to have control and prevent anything changing uh, that's already on your hard disk basically creates uh, an environment uh, which is called a sandbox uh, where everything goes in and only you choose to allow to the program to write to your disk and uh, that way you're preventing and blocking things changing permanently permanently on your disk um, <clears throat> everything is on this website in terms of the benefits of secure web browsing for example enhanced privacy secure email and once you get familiar with it um, it's it's really fantastic. You can't do without it, especially when you're surfing. Now I'm actually uh, uh, going to show you a few things that I uh, recommend you to do, which I which is what I do anyway. Um, and uh, the the latest version is 3.74 at the moment, and this video was made on the 8th October 2012. And um, I have got the uh, the the new latest ver version, and it's licensed and registered and every time there's an update it tells you uh, that, that uh, it, it, you just update it um, from this uh, website you'll see the number of glowing <coughs> uh, rec re recommendations from leading companies and when I first installed it uh, the there was about four million hits some years some years ago uh, and since 2004 you can see there are 178 million odd hits since so you can see the popularity of this software right enough of that once you've downloaded it from here uh, for your Windows machine uh, you download it from one of these sites uh, accept the license agreement and it tells you what Windows it supports so have a look at the website for the instructions I've got Windows uh, 7 now I used to have Windows XP and I've had it on both and um, there, there, there's the installer file which tells you what windows it supports uh, once you've downloaded it <coughs> uh, I'll show you an example of what happens when you do download it so say go to this one and I'm because I'm running sandboxy it'll come up with a pop-up message which that which tells me do you what you want to do with this program uh, uh, so I decide whether I want to put it on a folder there, you go, there it is, see, um, sandbox or recover to any folder of your choice at this stage you can decide, right, this is what I wanted to, uh, I am downloading this pro program, you recover it or close it, not recover it and um, don't make any changes so if I close it, it, it's, it and remove it, it's not going to install uh, this is just an example of how the sandbox works <clears throat> Once you've installed it, it'll go you go through the uh, s uh, uh, setup procedure and install a driver. Uh, so you just follow the instructions. There's a sm brief, short tutorial, uh, and there are tutorials on the website. Tells you what uh, what happens when you how you install it and and so forth. Right. So just a quickie uh, to bring you up to speed. Uh, go to sandbox, default settings, sandbox settings and then <coughs> I've set it so that uh, when I delete when I close the uh, the browse, uh, sandbox it'll delete automatically so I tick that automatically delete contents of sandbox so I recommend that and you'll find websites suggesting that and now this is what I've set it at and it's fantastic so every time I close the browser uh, then um, I'm happily surfing away without worry of what I'm gonna pick up until I decide what to uh, let go as it were and write to my disk and then it clears the sandbox and that's how simple it is so that 
is setting and then on your applications for browsing uh, I've set <coughs> Firefox and once you register it you you tick this part and add so if I remove that it takes the minus uh, plus out as you can see so you, to add it every time you make a change you add it um, and apply and I've done that for Firefox Google Chrome and Dragon, Komodo Dragon, which is the browser I've got at the moment. And I've tried Internet Explorer, but I've left that. And you leave it also uh, without, without the plus sign for the others if you uh, when you want to update them, because otherwise it won't write any updates for those browsers. There's an update for those browsers. So you have to untick it in, from Sandbox to allow uh, them to up, be updated. But in the meantime, if you're surfing, uh, you can leave that. I, I've left the Explorer because it, it does crash for some reason. You get a blue screen for memory reasons. I don't know why, but I've left that as it is. <clears throat> but if I choose to run it, I can. Uh, you get a yellow icon where you um, it, it, you can just double click on that, and that uh, runs your default browser. So uh, I've left that as it is. Left. The, these added to the sandbox and click OK, apply and click OK, and that's it. And when you want to update and uh, update them, you just remove them, as I said. This is what's happening at the moment, and uh, <coughs> sandbox has been downloaded. And when you do when you do run a sandbox uh, application, uh, it'll give you two asterisks, uh, 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 hash signs on either side of the box. At the moment, because um, this setting, I forgot to tell you, this setting on default set standard, <coughs> if you on your appearance, if you select display a border around the window, I've ticked the yellow bit and display the border only when the mouse cursor is on the uh, in the window title. Tick that. That way, you actually see when you hover over the box if I click on it can you see the yellow on the edge of the box if I click on it it goes yellow which means it's in sandbox you can choose what colors you want <coughs> also um, if you do download and um, this program uh, any program really it uh, and allow it to download I'll cancel that actually I'll do another one <coughs> and um, I don't know keep, keep us so if you download that quickly uh, let's do that one Maybe I try this one actually. The zip file. So you, I'm downloading the zip file. Something. It's waiting for. Oh, here we go. Right, there's the two that that have been downloaded. So I've stopped that one, and I'm going to allow this one, <coughs> just to give to show you what it does. So there it is. Click recover to that folder, downloads folder and it will allow it now so if you go to the downloads folder and there it is now I can then run this sandboxed right click on it and then click sandbox and you get this window default sandbox and run outside if you want to allow it and you trust this program you can run it outside so you can test the program by leaving it with the default setting and run it and what will happen is you'll get hash signs can you see the hash on the either side that shows it's running in sandbox mode and that's that's it basically so you can do what you like and then if you decide not to um, use that at all you go to uh, sandbox you can either do it from here what I do it I do it from here right click and then default box and click delete uh, contents or if you close the browser if I close the browser and I'm surfing 
surfing from uh, uh, from it it deletes it from from the the contents from there but there are still contents which is the sandbox program I downloaded waiting for uh, authorization to write to your disk so all I do is and there are other files which obviously you can't see uh, that are occupying that space in the sandbox I all I do is click delete contents to terminate these processes so delete and they're gone and there's nothing there in the sandbox anymore really really recommend this program um, <coughs> I've surfed without worry uh, on, the, on the net it, using Sandbox. Uh, you can choose to run any program as well once you've downloaded it. As I said, uh, right click any program and then run Sandboxed. Oh. Run Sandbox and you won't have any problems. Um, have a look at the website for more information on the product and I'm sure you're going to end up buying it like I did. And I've had it for years and it's really reliable it updates uh, occasionally when there's an update you just update it and let the driver run and just follow the instructions very very easy very quick to install and I really recommend it myself so thanks for watching um, bye for now